Hello laser gerbil friend, this is the first laser diode I have ever used in a laser engraver 9 years ago. And this big fat boy is the Atomstack A70 laser module. This one is rated 0.25 watt of power, while this one is rated 77 watt of power. So the laser engraver I'm going to review now is 300 times more powerful than my first laser engraver. What we notice at first glance is that the structure has a simple but very very solid design. Atomstack has sized everything to adapt it to the weight and power of the 70 watt laser. We see this first of all from the size of this power supply. We see it in the laser module itself, equipped with a large fan, jumbo connector, and a copper and aluminum lamellar dissipation system, similar as one of the most powerful CPU. And then you can see it in the frame, made with large metal parts and assembled with a generous number of screws, eight for each corner of the frame. Despite this, the assembly of the machine is very simple, thanks to the essential and well-engineered design. Simply bring the four pieces that make up the frame together and screw them. Then fit the X-axis and tighten it into the support. Position the laser and its three cables, including the air assist pump one. And we are ready to go. Now let's try to answer the question that you are all asking yourself. How powerful is this laser? What we can cut? I did my first test on a white melamine panel about 2 cm thick, a material that is impossible for most diode laser for two reasons. The first, because it is white, and therefore reflect the laser light. The second, because it is a wood very rich in glues, and the glue often makes the laser work very hard. You won't believe it. But in just three passes, the laser cut this impossible panel. Then I also tried with solid wood, a pine wood disc, just one pass and the cut is done. There is no doubt that this laser is the most powerful around today. And it can speed up your work and open the door to the use of new materials. The laser unit has a switch that allows it to work at half power, to be able to use it on the most delicate material, where full power would be excessive. One interesting thing is that this machine is capable of using a wide range of accessories from Atostack or third parties. For example, it is compatible with the IKEA infrared module, which I told you about in another video, or for example, I am using it with this Alien Cell rotary roller which goes perfectly with this machine. This rotary allows you to work on cylindrical or spherical surfaces such as cups, water can, glasses, wedding rings, tennis, baseball and golf balls and much more. It is perfect for making any type of gadget, souvenir and jewelry thanks to the different types of clamps and many mounting options. Here I'll show you the A70 Pro Atomstack engraver together with this Alien Cell Rotary and in the end you will see what a spectacular engraving quality. I think Atomstack compatibility with these third-party accessories is one of its strong points. You can find the link of this Atomstack A70 Pro and of the Alien Cell Rotary in the description of this video. Finally, the Atomstack A70 also includes a very easy to use autofocus functionality. Just press a button and the machine automatically set the best distance for perfect engraving. I hope you enjoyed this video. I invite you to like and subscribe my channel so you can stay up to date on any news.